This is lifestyles of the poor and unfucking fortunate. But I tell you what, but 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 bitch, we got this. Irri, irri, irri. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Come on. Shoe fly, don't bother me. That's right. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Why? Well, I'm gonna splat your ass. <laughs> yeah, man, that shit sucks. It sucks to be outside sometimes. Hey, you know what? First world problems, baby. Chad Arms TV. Yeah, Chad Arms TV. I got some shit to say to the podcast. We're we'll right back at it, man. You already know what time it is. Leroy Biggs is in the building, man. Mr. Biggs in the motherfucking oh, shit. show there talking about Hit him with that. Yeah. That's what we're doing over here. So, uh. That gets me so hyped. As it should. Yeah. I'm, uh. Hung over. I'm hungover. Yeah, this is the day after the Jelly Roll, infamous Jelly Roll. Let me get my mic situated. Here we go. This is after the infamous Jelly Roll uh, Ryman Auditorium show in Nashville, which is a show of such epic proportions. I don't even think words really can describe the experiences I had last night. No, on top of that, he dropped his album, Ballads of the Broken, yesterday. Yeah, let's start, let's start with the album, then we'll get into the show. We've all had a chance to listen to it all the way through, correct? Yep. Leroy? Mm-hmm. I've listened to it multiple times, um, probably three times all the way through, and I had already heard the majority of the songs, not the fin- the finished versions. Me and Squints were able to hear some stuff um, yep. right after he cut it in the studio. It sounded a lot different. Some of it did, but that's just how that works. And it was early on. I think that was like yeah. mid-June when we – It was. It was so, right before 4th of July, yeah, mid-late June. Yep. I'm and, to, up the- and to Chad's point, the, um, the records had changed so much from – from the process then to the final product as far as like you know instruments and the, and the mix etc but uh how you feel about the album i i think it's some of his best work now some people i love all the jelly stuff i, I obviously i grew up on the the, the rap jelly mm-hmm. trap rap jelly because that's when i met him and, and that's when i know more of that but i like i love what he's you know, um, evolved into. Right. And I thought the project was great. We'll get into more detail about it, but Biggs, what'd you think about it? Biggs. Mm. Uh, I thoroughly uh, enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think dead man walking is, uh, perfectly tells, uh, my story. Okay. Oh yeah. Dead man walking. And that's the first track on the record. So you, you found immediate relatability. Immediate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I stopped. Um, that's a that's a perfect example though. Dead Man Walking. When me and Chad originally heard Dead Man Walking, it was broke down so much more than it came out to. Yeah. Not in a bad way. No. But uh, like Son of a Sinner, they put the demo version of Son of a Sinner as as a bonus track on the album, and I'm so glad they did because uh, yeah. Son of a Sinner is its own record. It, it is a phenomenal it's be, record. It's liable to be as big as Save Me. Correct. It could potentially I be to- as big as Save Me. I totally yeah. agree. Yeah. Me personally, I think that the demo version could be bigger. That's so to your point. Um, I like the demo version better. I wish Jelly would have put a demo version of Dead Man Walking on there as well. Me too. I still have it on the Chat Arms TV, like where we can go back and look at that part of it. But it's so much bigger of a record and it's still an amazing song. Yeah, it's it, just different. But that's like I said, that's just how that goes. But I love that record. And then right after that, you go right into Backslide, which is another hit record. Yeah, um, I think it, it's more of um, there's four singles on there. For sure, and there's only like nine records. Yeah, yeah nine, yeah, nine, nine songs because Son of a Sinner's on there twice. And there's yeah. four, and there's four solid singles, man, for a rap pro- or for a rock project. Because like, that that's something else people got to keep in consideration that this this album fell underneath underneath a completely different genre than Jelly's ever touched on. And why not try to fucking do that? I don't. I would if I was that fucking talented and not and I had that much range in my talent. Yeah. Why the fuck would I hold back? I'd go for every kind of plaque I could fucking get, man. For I, sure. I mean, why the fuck not? What up? What about the record as a whole for you, Biggs? Like, what is Dead Man Walking your favorite one on there? Uh, yeah, just because I mean, like I said, or like Squint said, it was the first, uh, the first project on or the first uh, song on the album. Sorry, I can't talk. No, you're good. Oh, uh, and man, it just uh, I think it perfectly captured where I'm at right now. Yeah. Uh. You know, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, self reflection in that. 
For sure. You yeah. know, and that's yeah. just, uh, that's the vibe I'm on right now. Right. Uh, I mean, Son of a Sinner's fucking fantastic. Yeah. Oh, I don't yeah. want to take away from it. Yeah. Personally speaking, though, uh, Dead Man Walking. Dead Man Walking was an eye opener. And those, for me. but those, yeah. those two are my favorites for sure. One and two. My, like, well, my favorite is Son of a Sinner, the, the, the acoustic Son of a Sinner. And to be real with you, my second favorite song is Even Angels Cry because I love the whole vibe of that record. I love Dead Man Walking too, but I love the whole vibe of the Even Angels Cry. And when I was going to do the video, I hadn't even even heard the song. The song wasn't even done. All Jelly had was a hook, pretty much for the ver- for the song. He just went ahead and shot the video. We shot the video like three four months ago. The video's not out yet, right? No, it's not out yet. But I'm assuming it will be soon. I don't know, but. I had just heard a skeleton of that song when we, when we were doing the the scenes for the video, but to hear that whole record, I mean, the whole album is is great. You know, the the over you song that Bayless produced, uh, shout out Bayless. That song, I'm getting fucked up because I'm still fucked yeah, up a, over smash, you. There's, there's, there's so many good ones, man. The, the the composition just with all of it, like the yeah. from the from the instruments to the just the way the the records were wrote. It, it just, I don't know, it clicks for me, man. And to your point, I don't know if it's just about the growth of him as an artist that mm-hmm. makes me so attracted to it or if it's just the product itself. Like, I, I don't, like, I, it's hard to sit back and think about if I, how big of a Jelly Roll fan I'd actually be if I didn't know him for as long as I have. Yeah. Because that's my, that's my guy. Like, that's my yeah. fucking guy. And I, I don't think I've ever talked bad about any of his work. No, it's never like I, like I told him, and I and I wasn't just saying this because he's my he's my boy, but I don't feel like Jelly's ever really missed with a song. Exactly, there That's may what be I'm songs saying. that like I don't really like as much as others, but Jelly really hasn't ever missed. And that's what I was telling him. That's what I was telling Leroy too with the stuff that Leroy's doing right now. Currently, he's not really missing. Yeah, Leroy's stock is going. He's not really missing car. either. It's just and. I couldn't be and, – and for everybody out there that's saying Jelly sold out or Jelly switched up or whatever, first of all – Don't bring that just, conversation to me. No, it's just evolving. And second of all, if you just like Jelly's rap, I understand that. He's got a rap album with Stoner that they're working on. So just call me Jets. It'll be coming sooner than later, I'm sure. Well, and now, you know, I, I haven't really seen that, so I haven't given it much uh, thought. But here's what I got to say about that. Fucking moving yeah. forward for fucking anybody – uh, I mean, if you listen to Jelly's discography, you can, you know how he grew up, yeah. And how he lived, yep. Uh, personally speaking, you know, I said Dead Man's uh, Dead Man Walking spoke personally to me. Like, uh, fuck, yeah, fuck whoever before. says anybody sold out anything. First of all, motherfucker, yeah. like you weren't there, yeah. You weren't there. You never had to go through this shit like that. Yeah. You it's, know, and I, I can't speak on Jelly's sit, uh, situation. I'm 22 years old. I don't know that man from fucking Chad Arms' future or past. Yeah. But, oh, uh, he, he fucking sold out. Motherfucker, you didn't pay his light bill. No, I, yeah. you, you know. will never hear that kind of talk from me. No, and the thing is, too, bro, like just expanding on what you was just saying, Leroy, the, the people that say that, don't like, get it. And like Jelly said, he was like, what do y'all want me to do? Do y'all want me to keep rapping about selling dope? I don't sell dope anymore. I don't have to do that. I'm in a better place in life. Yeah. So why would I continue to to talk about that stuff that I'm not currently dealing with? I, I'm on a bigger mission now. And he doesn't denounce that, that, out, that style because... He can still do that. He has He's, a respect for it. Yeah, you know, for sure. It, it fucking kept the it kept the ball rolling for a fucking decade. Absolutely, but it helped him find. For a motherfucker to say, "Oh, you sold out," yeah. and not know, you have to be one sheltered motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, that's the kind of way you I know, see it. Oh, yeah. he sold out, motherfucker. You have to grow up. Yeah, at yeah. Some right. Fucking exactly, point. bro. If you that's don't, coming from a twenty-two-year-old that's telling and you. And I that. mean, it's just. It's fucking bullshit, dude. If you gave me a fucking lane and an opportunity, hey, man, you can drop everything negative you've ever done, and you don't have to reflect on it anymore in that manner. Yeah. I'm hitting delete right. yeah. on all of that f- yeah. bullshit. Yeah. Where'd that, fuck, where'd that shit get jelly? I, I know yeah. it got him in trouble a couple of times. 
Like, uh, don't. Last night he played the fucking ramen. Who sold out what? Fuck you, dude. Yeah, yeah for real. That's yeah. Like, that's what I'm saying. I, don't bring that conversation to me. Well, man. I just brought I that up because I, I've seen. You know how people are. I've seen, and that's just people that are just going to be negative. But I just wanted to, and we've talked about it before. And even when Jelly, when I went to do the video shoot with Jelly for um, the Cocaine song, which I think he'll release as a single at some point, the role model, he was saying that. You know, people, Chad, I've been watching the comments on YouTube, and I know people get mad at me because I, I don't rap anymore, but what they don't understand is I can't do Welcome to the Trap House when I'm 60. I don't even do it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody's seen the interview. Yeah, we've seen, we've, yeah, it's all right. about making timeless music, man. Yeah, Not for sure. Rap records. And I, I, I get it, man. Well, and so with that, that dude ain't got to explain himself now, to with nobody. That, no, no, but, no. He, but he's aware of what people say, and that's, well, that was his response to that. Okay, well, yeah. first of all, I think that goes back into showing how much he hasn't sold out because he still is aware of what – so-called his people say. You know how I know he ain't yep. sold out? Because I was in the front fucking row of the show last night. It was sold out rhyming. And I had an invite to follow him along right. today. And it's it, it, or yesterday after the show. Like, he's the most humble cat ever. Nobody could ever, no, anybody no, no. close to him would never but, agree with any of that bullshit. No, because people that don't know him. People that so, don't know it. It's yeah. easy to assume something or, or paint the, your own little picture when you're your own composer. But Jelly, man... Well, and but now the thing to say, you know, the music now is timeless and it has yeah. a meaning. And, stuff. and that's where you want to welcome be. to the trap house is timeless as well. But with that being said, I mean, it was a, keep it in its own time. It People are going to bump that forever. There's going to be 13 year olds seven years from now. And that's going to be the first Jelly Roll song they ever fucking hear. Yeah. And it's yeah. not going to be because of anything other than stumbling upon it. Yep. But then when you see this 400-pound motherfucker and 300-pound struggle and, you know, I think... Uh, O&E. Yeah, uh, was a big yeah, O&E and, yep. uh, you know, uh, 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 Johnny Cashville was even in that fucking video. Yeah. You see, you see all of these motherfuckers in a nice studio pulling up in some ragged-ass Dodge Charger. Yeah. I mean, that's timeless, dude. That, that's part of the narrative. That's part of the timeline. Yeah. Like you can't. 2010, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I mean. But leading the last night, man. Yeah. Yeah. Sold out show at the Ryman Auditorium. Absolutely. Like Country Cathedral. Like, it was the most epic shit. Like, every, I mean, we've been rocking with, well, me and me and Chad have been rocking with Jelly long enough to where, you know, Chad, dude, how many, so many shows. Like, we've done shows with Jelly. We've opened for Jelly. We Jelly's hosted my birthday two or three times. Mm -hmm. Like, dude, we have done it with that guy from start to finish, man. Yeah. Right. So many different stories and scenarios we could explain that cannot, that just explains that it halfway puts into perspective about right. what we've seen over the years. Bro, you can go on Chad Arms TV in the archives right now and look up a video. I think it's like show and prove and jelly roll. The at, Rutledge at or the something. Rutledge, at the and Rutledge. It, the video and starts with Jelly sitting in yeah. front of the store, in front of the club, <laughs> waiting on people to get there, hoping that people show up so he can get money. And he explains that he on says camera. It on camera, he it's said, "I'm waiting out here to count how many heads come see me, so yeah. I get this money, man. I need this money." That was like, 2010. That was that was. That's what I'm saying. That's where the growth has been. He and, went from that, and then to your grind to shine when you won that contest. He was there with us, and they were out. There's a clip of him saying, "You know, we're at the rec the radio station because we're outside." Yeah, they didn't want nothing to do with none of that stuff. Yeah, you know what I mean. And luckily, just, luckily, we were. I'm so glad Jelly came that day. I'm yeah. thinking about that video right now. And shout out Wizzle, man. R.P. Yeah, RP Worm, man. He was there. Uh, the whole camp was there, and yeah. it, everybody that wore his shirt. You know what I'm saying? And just, just the growth from that. And exactly. Then, and, and then, like, whenever I would ride around with Jelly, like, back back then, he never listened to rap music, bro. He's a lot like him. That's the way Leroy is, too. Jelly never listened. He listened to the stuff. He listened to Southern rock. He listened to 80s rock, 80s pop, R&B. He didn't even listen to rap music when he was in the car. He's so, so, so that's always been something he's wanted to do. I remember one day I, he jumped in the car with me and said, uh, Squinch, man, I'm about to start taking singing lessons, man. I'm finna start singing on these motherfuckers. Yep. And I told him, I said, do it, bub. Yeah. And I, I can't put I can't put a thumb on when that and I've told him that a million times, but uh that I remember that conversation. I can't put a thumb on when it when it was exactly, but it was years ago. Years when it sounded funny. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But last night to sell out the rhyming dog and to yeah. sell it out in 30 minutes you know he sold it out in 30 minutes three months ago yeah and it led up to last night and then to get there 
I guess what I was saying about me and Chad going so far back with Jelly is that we've seen him perform so many times. And then as the as the shows have prog- have gotten bigger and bigger, even after we were like involved with the shows, the love is I, like we were always backstage. We're always yeah. You he's know always I mean? looked he's, out for us. Yeah, we've always been right there. The whole crew, you know, we saw rehearsals for the Ryman show months ago. You know what I'm saying? Like we yeah. we we're still in there, but when it. Last night backstage did not come into my head personally. No, it was I, not. It was. No. No, I didn't even care. I just wanted to be there, and I was so. It was a feeling like it's always been sort of a thing, like because it, it, that's where our crew would be. Like we'd all just be back there, and then like anybody of anybody would be back there. But last night, dude, I couldn't wait to get to my <laughs> fucking seat. Yeah, I couldn't wait. Like, and when I got there and sat in that fucking church pew, yep, nope. and watched that guy, the same guy in that video, you know, ten years ago. And just through, it just all plays back in my head so much. <laughs> to to see him come out to the set he came out to. Yeah, and yeah, we'll put the link in the description. You can watch the full Whole live thing. show, on, start to finish, from the, from the the Ryman last night. We'll put the link in the description. I'm sure you've already watched it. Unbelievable. But you can watch it, and it's shot great because Leroy wasn't able to make it, but he can go. He, we were showing him clips before we started here, <laughs> and I mean, it looks like a legit movie. Movie. It looks I mean, like a DVD you yeah, buy of your like, favorite artist performing at some venue, absolutely. like a special. And the love that we were getting shown, just as a side note, wow, for Chat Arms TV, for for what me and Leroy are doing, for yep. what me and Squints and all of us are doing with the podcast, yeah. and it's just the interviews and the love and support we were getting from people that some people I was familiar with from social media, some people I had no clue who they were, and that's no disrespect to them, but they were just coming up and saying they appreciate what we do. I've had I had several people talk about how much they thought Leroy was hilarious. They loved the stuff that we do. They watch the stuff at work. It gets them through their work day. Same thing he was hearing about the podcast from people. Yeah. And shout out shout out to everybody, anybody that pulled me or Chad aside last night and said anything like that because it wasn't but positive shit. And I didn't I knew that people were receiving the podcast and it's no it's no question about Chad Arms TV. And I'm I mean, everywhere we go, I get – Chad's more recognizable than me. I said this to him when he first pulled up today. But, dude, god damn, I, I felt a special way last night, man. Like, I, was, fe- I felt the love last night. There was night. love in the building for sure. The guy yeah. that sat behind me tapped me and said, are you Chad Arms? I said, yeah. He said, man, I love Leroy Biggs. I love the stuff you right. and him do. We, he, some, he works as like a – he's like a painter or something. He said they put those stuff on and, and watch that. He was talking about some video you was doing, I guess, from a long time ago where you were grilling food or something. It must have been on your channel or Facebook or Instagram or something. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a video about uh, uh, me living out of my car. Yeah. He, he, he said you had an Altima. That was when you had the ultimate, yeah. So that he was, he went back that far with you, and I. Yeah. So, and I was like, hell shout yeah! Out, shout out, monster. Yeah, for sure. I, I sent Leroy a text and was like, man, I'm sitting behind, I'm sitting in front of this guy that's like this huge fan of yours, and he didn't know Leroy. He just he he's from around this way, and and what did us like? You didn't respond back because you were in the studio session. But it, I know you weren't oh, ignoring me. Oh, I thought I said. Oh, I thought I was a smart ass. No, you wasn't. I thought she was gonna be, but she wasn't. Uh, uh, oh, but you know, like, I think one thing it really shows uh, to really stamp what we just talked about and how we were talking about how the big leap Jelly made and mm-hmm. the love we're getting already and stuff like that, man. Like, if you're an up and coming artist, up and coming reactor, personality, whatever the fuck you do, just do it. Yep. Yeah, there real is, talk. There's almost 8 billion people in the world. Yep. Out yep. of those 8 billion, about 5.5 billion of them have some sort of device where mm-hmm. they see social media. Yep. Yeah. Just do it. Yep. Just do it. And I be mean, consistent I, with it. I mean, look, hell, you look at Squints is wearing a show and prove shirt. Fucking. Yep. Chet, don't let Chad fool you with the Lakers jersey and shit. Me, I'm wearing, I'm wearing what's normally my court clothes. Like, we're normal you dress people, nice. bro. Yeah. Amen. You know what I mean? Like we're it's uh we work, but not, yet the grind for us has been. I mean, for for this has been 2009 is when Chat Arms TV started, but Show and Proof started in 2006, and this is what I've always. It took 15 years of doing this content, and I just did it because I love doing it. But I don't. You don't really realize like what what the stuff you're doing means to certain people. And last night, just from people talking about our video, our day in the lives with you. 
and the podcast and the interviews. I got referenced multiple times about the interview I did with, with Ryan. Shout out to Church. He even shared us again with the Stoner stuff. Really look forward to working with him again. People brought came across my channel because of the church interview, and then they're like, "I've watched. I went back and watched all of them. I love the stuff, the you know the behind the scenes stuff, and then I love to laugh with the day in the lives with him, and the podcast is cool. They put that on at work, you know what I mean? So it's 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 dope that seeing what we're doing, even though we look at numbers and we're like, well, those numbers are cool, but like you don't really put it into perspective like who those numbers are coming from yeah it the you know? no, the numbers could be significantly lower and as long as i got that kind of feedback yeah. on, on occasion yeah like just direct feedback from consumers like that yep that shit made every like i don't even I, the numbers don't matter really no when, i mean because those th that'll happen and it's happening yeah, it's getting dude, better it's crazy but right. the, the, and it's not just like people are saying oh they know like they're referencing shit absolutely yeah, you, know thousand, I mean? you can tell they're absolutely. watching and listening it's, yeah dude but one uh, of those things like i mean man like Y'all been doing this since 2009. Like, yeah. I don't know if it's a fire that started in 2009 that's been refueled, but it's like, from what I'm hearing, fellas, like, fuck, we're doing pretty good. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Two, it, 2009, so this is this is how it even started. When, when 2000, at the end of 2008, when Jelly got out of jail, and I we, we linked up, and we had been, you know, I was running his MySpace, we were linking up, he got out, he had the curfew, mm -hmm. and then we, we linked back up, and then he was like, I was like, bro, I bought a camera. And he was like, Let's okay. Go. Yeah, so I just bought a Sony Handycam at Best Buy with a credit card. I never paid the credit card because I'm a stupid yeah. ass. Fuck yeah. You know what I mean? Hashtag gangster life. We'll take care of it one day. Yeah, so, I mean, it's fine now. It's been paid off now. But then it was just like I was laid off from my job, and I just said, well, let's just film shit. I didn't know. YouTube was brand new, bro. Like, not it had been around a couple of years, but Google didn't own it. People weren't getting paid. No, there was no monetization. Everything was MySpace driven. And we were getting thousands of hits on YouTube, bro, with not knowing what we were doing. Right. We were just filming Days in the Life, and me and Jelly both are still sick that I had four or five Day in the Life of Jellies back then yep. that he had me remove because he was trying to, he was taking a different direction with stuff and he was like man it probably won't look good if i have that on there and i'm mad that i didn't keep the footage but you want to know what i i don't know why i'm thinking about this right now and i want to speak on it but what i think about most of jelly when i think about that old old footage that jacket the jacket yeah what, that's so funny you the know Spider -Man jacket? The exact yeah. it's a there's a blooper reel show and proof tv or a chat on yeah. tv at uh, d race at d race yeah. house and jelly just got out and he just got that jacket he was fresh as fuck and he's trying to do a drop. Something about, hey, man, it's your boy. That's your boy, David. Jelly Roll 6. Well, <laughs> yeah, that laughs. was 2009, bro. That's when he was recording. I don't know if y'all remember the song he did with Bobby Hooks called She Like It. Shout out Bobby Hooks. Yeah. I talked to him the other day. Yeah, that was, that was when we were filming that for Volume 3. Keep in mind, this guy was 10 years old when we were doing that, and he was watching Chad Arms TV. That's how me and him even... I was fucked from the start. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you, you were doomed. When we linked up through Instagram, mm -hmm. I had hollered at Leroy, and we had reached out to each other, and um, I can't remember what it was about, but I wanted to get you on a record, and we had reached out, and he was like, he was telling me, he had hit me up originally about some cologne, and then we were talking back and forth about that, and then he was saying he My watched Chad Arms TV since he was nine or ten years old, and then me and him have been like locked in since february because we were there was the mutual respect between worm and him because worm was like that i love that little motherfucker like he loved leroy and he talked about them working together it just obviously didn't work out but he he saw i think he saw something in leroy that reminded him of and i you know what i mean and that is just it's just all kind of come full circle man and that's me and, that's how i see it i'm just over yeah. here my it, this whole episode Anywhere up till now, rewind, and I'm just like staring, and and I'm I'm just lost. We got the door open outside, and yeah. I'm just there's so many thoughts, bro. And and you're involved in with them, Leroy, because what Chad's saying is so true, bro. Like, and I it's I don't know, man. You can well, even go, to, go ahead. Well, go ahead. to uh, you know, once again, y'all been at this since 2009. Mm -hmm. Up until that, now there's really been no avenue to like you know give out any sort of roses or like mm -hmm. really appreciate right you know the 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 labor yeah 
right? Oh, we got yeah. it, and it's like the 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 uh, what's it called? Ground to shine. When we did the ground to shine, yeah, dude, I thought that was a ticket. Uh, we all I thought we, we, I thought we, thought we, we was thought in there, we was, man. Yeah, we thought we was gonna get a deal. And shout everything. out, shout out, Zach Crow. Uh, yeah, for he, sure. You know, Chad had, was doing this not everyday records and mm -hmm. invited me over to meet Zach and to record with Zach and Zach. Had an idea for a record or something like yep. that. Pitched Pop me. He was like, man, yep. we should do a record together. I'm like, hell yeah, let's do it. And at the time, I really wasn't much of a solo artist. I was more of a feature artist. Like I was always sort of a feature artist. And uh, the one song that Zach Zerific pitched to me, sang yep. the hook on, I got on the radio with. <laughs> yeah, here in Nashville. It was a one-on-one -on -one I got contest. radio play. Yeah. Yeah. Put that on we your all submitted resume. Songs. We all submitted songs. <clears throat> and... Shout out to Zach. He's a huge songwriter now in the country. Same with Sam Hunt and tons he, of other. Google artists. that. Google Zach Crowell. It's retarded. Um, him like, and Jelly are going to be. I think they're going to start working together again too, which is just going to be amazing. Like executive produced Sam Hunt's first album. There you go. Yeah. Still Period. talk to him. Shit, I wish oh, yeah. for sure. I'm this guy does. Yeah. Amazing talent, bro. Yeah. Keith Urban, we still quit each other. Uh, you Scott quit holding Curry. out on me. We still, dude. we still hand, we still send each other like random no limit uh, album covers back and forth. Google that, Google yeah. dude, bro. So, yeah. And like I said, yeah. he literally plug me in, Chad. Literally, I'll work on it. Listen, Leroy, the one record he just out of nowhere pitched me a record, and was like, we should, we should do this record. I got this idea, and he sent it to me with a hook on it. We just left the hook. I went in a week later, recorded yeah. the song, submitted it to the 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 radio station like everybody else. Yep. And two or three months later, your yeah. boy. Your boy. And I'll and I'll say this to this day. Get paid? Nah, they they got me a uh we did a full we did a inter okay, fun fact. We did the concert series at the full throttle garage. It was it was like this like yep. assembly hall like little stage area at the radio station downtown. Which we still got on the channel. And we yeah, have on the it. channel. But if you pay close attention to who is filming that footage there's footage of me and Blaze 314. Shout out, Blaze. Yeah, shout out, Blaze. Performing uh, Stacks on Deck. Yep. And the cameraman's name is Jelly Roll. Jelly Roll had the fucking camera. He was using my camera to film. Ta-da. Because I, I was on stage. You talk about... Bro, that's what I'm saying, dog. That's what I'm fucking saying, God that damn it. Wild, bro. And... And he's wearing that blue tee, that blue tee shirt, because Worm was wearing the you hear him gray say, and red. Squint. He's trying to get me to move out of a. Sh I'm on stage and I'm like hyping Blaze during his verse or something, and my back is directly in front of the camera, like just smashing the camera. And he's like, Squint, Squint, trying to get me to move. Of course, yeah. I can't fucking hear him. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, that's uh, so dope. That's I a didn't crazy. Even that. That's a that's crazy a little thing. thing. Jelly had the camera and he filmed some of the performance footage that day at the Grind and Shine video. Because that's when Worm was like. Him and Jelly were clowning on each other, which is what they always did. But that was all that one day that that when Worm was freestyling in the breezeway, when there's yep. that's all the same day we all linked up and clicked up yep. with the whole crew. You know, all a, of us. It was a good fucking day. Yeah, it was dope, but and nothing really came of it nothing. other than that. So but. that that performance, they had a rep for uh, Drive uh, Jive Records was yeah, in. The, they Jive, had yep. some rep rep from some label was in there. Check us out. You know what I'm saying? And. Yeah. Uh, it seemed positive, seemed great. We did an interview on the air. Yep. Uh, shout out Bella White and Scooby, man. That was what Scooby, Scooby was doing. Yeah, yeah sure. so that, that was, it's it's legendary to go back OG and watch shit, that shit, man, now. for sure. Yeah, we'll was, put that link in the description, too, yeah. so if you want to go back down memory but lane. That, that was a win. That For sure. That was a trophy. But that was just something, again, that just kind of goes back to the history. It's all kind of tying <laughs> together. Um, yeah. And, but the, the, the beautiful thing that I'm seeing now that, that, that we are – really doing all we can do to get Leroy wherever he needs to be as, as far as us being kind of like uncles to him, basically. Because this guy, if y'all if y'all just don't understand the growth that, that he's had in the last two years. They're about to fucking see. They're about to see because two years ago when he dropped his, his, his album one, you can watch it on the Stoner. Stoner talks about it. Stoner produced Shout the whole out, record. Stoner. Leroy didn't write anything. He did all of it. He didn't know how to structure bars, choruses. Stoner and him talk about all this on the interview. There's a reason why he's in that chair. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But to see that, and then two years from then, to see the stuff that he's putting out now, which y'all are hearing some, I mean, he's already got singles out. You already got singles out. Bad but Habits, 24th. Bad Habits is dropping the 24th for sure. This week, with this, we're going to drop this episode this week, but Bad Habits is coming out the 24th. 
So once if we chart, we're going to Florida. So Leroy, it's the day after the Ryman. So what, what day is? What's the date today? Today's the 18th. So we'll have this. Shout out hopefully. David Ray. David Ray's birthday is today. Shout out to Lorenzo. Shout out Lorenzo. Yeah, for his sure. Birthday today as well. Young, uh, young Mr. Paradise there. Uh, speaking on speaking on David Ray real quick. Yeah. And and back to Jelly at the Ryman. Yeah. <laughs> that that was. I, I got emotional last night. Yeah, for I, sure. I, I got to kind of night. Man. I got to admit that shit. Jelly like, did on camera. I mean, like big time. I, I could see why when he got presented a gold record, like that would. Well, that and his oof. daughter being on stage with him, right? And her just killing shit. It'd Thirteen be, year old daughter just killing it, and be at the rhyme. Bunny too. being up there, him getting struggle there, them doing a couple of the Waylon and Willie joints. Um, Ernest coming out there and playing. But D Ray, I mean, when D Ray, when D Ray came out and played "Save Me" with Jelly, that shit was special to me. It was very. I was special, in yeah. the, I, my seat. I I beeline as soon as I heard it, and I heard him say, "D Ray, get out here!" And that's when I, I straight to the stage. I don't I don't even know where Amy was. I don't know who yeah. I was with at the time, but I'm infamous for that. Like if you I were got, standing over there with me, I will dip yeah. if an opportunity presents itself like that. I have to engage with. Like I, I'm just yeah. there, and I went right to the front row and got. The whole thing has saved me on 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 footage or whatnot, uh, but I had a fucking moment, dude. It was a, some. It just blew my mind. You need to send me that footage. We can upload it from the yeah, channel. I got it, dude. And it's a uh, shout out, Jelly. He, and Jet Arms with the monetization. No, no, no. Jelly will get the monetization. But, but yeah, shout out, pick up. shout yeah, I out. Want, to, I just want to put it out there just to get it out there. More. I had a, I had an even bigger moment when I fucking it, there's on the footage. You'll hear me tell Jelly. I, I think I called him by his first name when I yelled for him. Just to get his attention, because I'm right there at him. And when he saw me, I fucking just told him I loved him, man. And he he, he said it right back, and then spun into that song, dog. And yeah. you talk about fucking just a moment, dude. It ass. blew me away, dog. And, and the then, good, uh, the, the the beautiful thing about it is, though, bro, any everything that you're saying, they can fact check and watch the video because it's all on camera. Yeah, thousand percent. But the yeah. the I don't know, just the authenticity of that emotion that I felt. I can't even really put it into words. I, like to say I was proud or something. It was just like a fucking. It's uh, just a what we what everybody's worked crazy. for, what he's worked for, and knowing what he's went through, and just seeing it yeah. all come to a head, and, and actually. And then I got home and I watched the whole thing. It was one o'clock in the morning when I got home, and uh, I saw that the whole stream was available to uploaded. like watch. Yeah, and I'm like, oh shit, play. And I looked two seconds in, I, I was hooked, and I watched the whole fucking show. Yeah. The whole thing. Yep. Yeah. That was a whole different deal. What did I tell y'all earlier? I said I was out here crying like I was watching Titanic. But hey, bro. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's it. <laughs> I was out here just weeping. <laughs> Amy would sleep. Out three years, I was just out here just, oh my God, dude. But years and years and years and years and years of uh, of work to see it come to that and to see my homie D-Ray, our, our homie D-Ray up there with him playing, you know, the biggest song of his career. And it. Yeah. It was just a, it was really fucking special, dude. Jay-Z! Love you, Bubba. Love you, Bubba. Love you, Bubba. Leroy, what you want to talk about? Let's talk about what you got going on, dog. Man, let's talk about what I got going let's on. Let's go. Bad Habits drops September 24th. Fire collab album. Oh, what are you thinking? It's a bunch of Chad Arms hooks and just Leroy random diddly fucking verses? You're wrong, bitch. Uh, There's some fire on there. I'll go even sure. further to say fucking... I had a song that was on my album originally. Mm-hmm. 
We put on bad habit. I totally forgot about that. What's that? That's how it started, bro. What, I came over to your house to record Pete Rose. Pete Rose. So I came over to I came over to his spot to record him, and uh, he was like, um, "Man, I got a song we can I can get you on because I just got a song uh, ain't about the dough is what I wanted him on, and I was like, we didn't plan on doing an album together just then. We were just working on music, and then he it's like, well, I got this Pete Rose song, and he let me hear it. And then that's when we kind of started thinking, well, let's just do an album together. Fuck it. You know what I mean? Because we had already did Finna Do on, on the American Dream album that I did. He d- did the feature for me on that that uh, we, we produced. We, we. And then that's kind of what it turned into. Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't remember. <laughs> well, no, you was was... Just, with what you were saying, you can just go ahead and talk about whatever you oh, no, I'm good. I played the fifth. Played the fifth. Played the fifth. Uh, Yeah. I, shout out to uh, all the people we saw last night as far as, like, it was a fucking movie, bro. But I, I, the reason why I say that now is because uh, we've mentioned Stoner so much. And I don't get the opportunity to see Stoner a lot. The last time I saw Stoner was when I recorded a random song with him just on the fly. And that was the first time I'd ever fucking met him, I think. Yeah. But, uh, but like, White, we saw uh, White. Well, White, uh, he brought up Leroy yet last night, too, for sure. Uh, just, a, just so many random faces, but it's all Chase family, Matthew. Man. Yeah, there you go. Yep. Joe Marley. Uh, yeah, shout out Chase Quick. Matthew. That's Everybody was out him. there, man. Yeah, shout out Quick Money. David Manning and company. Yeah, David uh, Manning. Trey Cyrus. There was a lot. Of, there was a lot. Of, Lee Lee. There was a lot of people there. Was because it was just a family event. But sis. Shout out sis. Shout out to money. Yeah, money shot photography. Shout out Jamie LeMay. Welcome home, Jerry G. For sure. So glad that it was home, bro. So after bad habits drops, what we got? What you got going? She so, tell him what. Tell him what you got going. I got on. a solo project coming, and this solo project is by far the best thing I've done. Yeah, title yet? You said you were still trying to think of something. Man, uh, I think big deal is kind of the shit. This I thought shit. you was doing different people. You ain't doing different. You ain't calling it that. Well, I mean, we haven't inked anything out for sure, but that's what I was leaning with. Uh, so it's half produced by Stoner, half produced by Stoner, half produced by Dub Thirty Thirty. Boom. Boom. Uh, who, out who did both of his first two records? Uh, this Dub's yeah. the Dub's the guy that I keep shouting out, and I don't know yet, but I think yeah. he's a fucking uh, genius. Well, sure. the thing, like, man, we'll get into that real quick. Uh, Go ahead. I got some shit to say. Do that. Go. Me and Dub linked up random as fuck, and right. I know we've touched on this when we did our little video and yeah, moms. but you can you can bring it back up because that was uh, a while ago. Like. To be honest with you, I think Dub said he had heard of me. That's cool, but I can't sit here in front, dude. I had heard of Dub and had been hearing of Dub. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was right when I first started doing, like, features and shit like that. Well, all the people that were hitting me up, like, they weren't connected to one each other, one, you know, one another Right, at all. right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. But everybody had that same fucking tag. Well, I was sitting there getting stoned thinking, you know, like, dude. Who is this motherfucker? Like, like, yeah. I ain't never, like, obviously Stoner was doing, like, fucking most of Ryan shit at the time and stuff and wasn't really fucking with nobody. Like, everybody in this lane I've been grouped in was getting done by Dub3030. Absolutely. Well, I go over and uh, go over to his house, and we're sitting there vibing, and, like, uh, I think I did a remix or some shit. Yeah, you said y'all was doing some, like, he was just recording yeah. you doing some like freestyles, like, yeah, and stuff. like an yeah. old, uh, an, you know, like an old young thug beat or a fucking, yeah, also like just, a jacking for beats. Yeah, he was, yeah, he was yeah. doing a lot of those back gotcha. then. Yeah, and I've always been a fan of that kind I of shit. Yeah, dude, we just blazed like uh, it was more or less like a chill thing. You know what I mean? I wasn't worried about writing nothing. I could was able to just freestyle and yeah, yeah. I like that shit. Yeah, bro. Uh, but yeah, we just uh, we randomly stumbled upon each other. And then, like, uh, there, you know, there's been times, and I, uh, I don't think I've ever talked about this. There's been times I legit couldn't pay dub. Mm-hmm. And I told him, I was like, hey, bro, like, uh, we can chalk that. Like, uh, you can, you know, have it back. I'm not going to put it out. And, like, every time dub's been like, no, nah, bro, put it out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, He's it's super like, cool, bro. And, we just we have a very short history together, but in that short history, we've done a lot of fucking shit. Right, for sure, and, though. Uh, for sure, I mean, it's weird to me because he's uh, it, it gets it's it's weird when we talk about somebody I don't know because there's not many people I just haven't met or right. are comfortable enough to speak on if I don't know them. 
yeah. that list is almost deteriorated. Like I pretty much have met everybody that's been mentioned at this table. Hopefully one dub. Yeah, dub we'll I have not met. One day. But I based off if y'all cool with him, I'm cool with him. Oh, he's cool. Right. But at the same bro. time, yeah. how, uh, like what you just described, the uh, chalk and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. uh, that's real shit to me. So that that's like, well, a, like that's like a check. Well, and yeah. see, but that's, that's the thing too. Like, but the talent. Every time I hear the kids' beats, bro. Like, I, I yeah. And it like it gives me that feeling. Like I want to fucking write a verse, but I'm not no rapper. Well, and two, dude. Like it's like you know you know how it is. Like when you're rapping and really trying to fucking get going, like. You know, 3 a.m., you're writing music. You're not fucked up or nothing. You're mm-hmm. just up writing right. yeah. music. Yep. Like, I'll, I've, there's been times I've tried to write some shit, and I really fucking pump myself up about it. Well, I see, and, like, dubs up. Hey, Dub, what, you, what the fuck you doing? Man, what you think about this? And he's playing beats and shit. Yeah. Like, That's he's fucking, about. you know what I mean? Like, he looks yeah. at it as an artist. That's that his hustle, bro. That motherfucker yeah. won't ever rap. Yeah. But he is thinking outside of the box. Yep. Trying to come up with something new. I mean, 24 hours a day it fucking seems. Yeah, and the thing about with Dub too, bro, like the different people thing fits so well to me just on the on the knowing the whole aspect of your album because you being such different people than the two producers that produced the record and on top of that them being completely different style producers yeah me saying that meaning dub is the one that can crank out five to six beats a day post them on his air bit and they'll sell and he just right. booms them like that stoner and stoner admitted this too stoner doesn't work that way he works differently to where he'll give you a skeleton of a beat and y'all build it from scratch correct is that how y'all yeah. usually work yeah so it's completely different styles but they both are so talented, and they they both can do any kind of vibe. And on his record, when it whenever it does drop, y'all are going to see that because every record that he has on the album is different. Even like the dub portion of the album, all produced by Dub on this, and like say half of it, they're all different style beats though. Yeah. It's not like oh well, you can tell Dub made that one. Same with Stoner. You know what I mean? I, that's what I think so dope about it. So regardless if that's what you call the album. That's the project itself is is really really good. It's well, really good. And two, so like, I'm ready for videos, man. Who's shooting yeah. videos? I want to be in a video. I want to write yeah, a video. Drake, I want to do something. Help me. Really want to act in the video. Shout out Drake. That's who we need to something. get down here. Yeah, for sure. Drake. Drake's uh, a beast. I just want to be in it, please. Oh yeah, without a doubt. Drake. I'm gonna try to get you. I'm gonna try to get CP to shoot us me and Leroy a video for the album too. So. Sure. But man, the for thing. Sure. Hey. So. Let's talk. I got some shit to say. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Let's talk about Drake. Let's go. Drake? Yeah. Drake McGuire. Okay. Yeah. I don't know him. Yeah. yeah. That's uh, my film dude who we were just talking about. And he's from where? Arkansas. Got yeah. it. Uh, I got linked up with him, uh, to be honest with you, through Diesel Gang. Diesel Gang. We're not going to go into that. Okay. Yeah. But uh, that's how I linked up with him. That and uh, we had a mutual friend in Arkansas. Uh, first time I met him, we was smoking weed and shooting the shit on a, a podcast, and he was drinking beer. You know, yeah. didn't know anything about it. He had just started videos. Mm-hmm. Um, with that, with that fucking said, man, we just uh, stumbled upon each other again, and it was like we started fucking with each other. Like he yeah. shot a couple videos for Album Dose, and we put it out. Uh, then when I hit the road with uh, Up Church in the beginning of 2020, yeah, uh, he drove me down there. He drove drove us everywhere, made sure we didn't get tickets. Fucking, yeah, you know, uh, I had everything we go. Well, then he would film the shows for me. I never gave him a itinerary of anything to do. Yeah, he, he just sort down. of took it. You know, yep. he put his head down and went to work. Yeah, well. Since then, he's always been thinking about me buying equipment, and he's shooting music videos for other people. But every time he gets something, he's calling me like, "Hey, dude, we can use this for this." Yada yeah, yada, yada you know what I mean? And like, and he's so talented it, with it. You man. know, well, like he's just bro. He's one of the hardest working people in this industry. Yeah, I don't care what anyone says. Uh, I mean, I get. I've been. I've been doing features and a whole bunch of sh- fucking Drake will work laps around me. Like yeah. he, I mean, he drives. Yep. That motherfucker will drive 16 hours somewhere, film an eight-hour day. I'm ready. I'm ready to be in something. 
Yeah, Hurry up, guys! Y'all are the y'all are the fucking rappers. He did um he did press play. He did party on Pine Creek Road. Right? He's done all my videos. He did. Get I'll, him, well, he did. Well, I, I'll post yeah, them. I will have some him, footage. Uh, y'all be sure to let me. Know I which actually one he did I, I lied when I said that. Fucking, I got blessed with a B loose video. Me and Chucky Velvet have called Diamonds. Shout out oh, Chucky. Yeah, shout out Chucky. Yeah, yeah. Shout out B loose too. Uh, Creek Squad for sure. Yeah, shout out Chucky, man. Creek Squad. But yeah, man, Leroy's got videos that that we're working on. Uh, that he's working on with with Drake, and um, we even though he's got we've got Bad Habits Volume One finished, it's dropping the twenty fourth. He's got the solo album that's almost finished. We're still working. We're fixing to start working on Volume Two of Bad Habits. He's already working on more projects. So the the work is going to be consistent. We're going to keep working. And plus, plus we're going to keep them in your face right here on this podcast. For sure, man. on the podcast, on Day in the Life, so on interviews, whatever. Chad Arms TV and Leroy is part of the squad. He's part of. Chat Arms TV show improve. It's all we're all movement together. So the loudest sure. truck. It's the loudest truck of all fucking time. I'm interested to see how the feedback is. Um, oh well, I love I, I love having Leroy here. Leroy's my buddy, as you should. That's that's a good that's a good point too. Like just kind of tying everything in, you know, with the jelly stuff, with the stuff at the Ryman, and, and how much how dope that is, and then. With what Leroy's got going on, and, and him being such a young, a young kid, but but so OG mindset, and and so like the work ethic is there. I see a lot of similarities. in oh, yeah. Jelly and, and and Leroy. Oh yeah. As far as that goes, but Jelly even said that on the bus. I think Leroy is a mix, you. a mix of of a few different components from a few different characters yes. I've encountered in my life. Yes. And uh, to have all that, man. Speak on it. I mean, dude, you you're speak. On I don't want to speak on it, man. I, t- I tell people this. I tell people on a music side, he reminds me a lot of Jelly with the work ethic and how easily it comes to him and how diverse he can be. And from a personality standpoint, he reminds me of Worm, RIP, mm. because of how hilarious yeah, I, I they are and how charismatic they are and how they don't even have to try to do it. And multiple people have come up to me and said this. So I was thinking, I thought it to myself, but there's a lot of... Oh, look. There's a lot of similarities. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. For the rest of the podcast, I will be Bruce Buffett. So if you're listening, if you're listening now <laughs> instead of watching on YouTube, ChatArmsTV.com, if you're listening to the podcast, Leroy has removed his mic from the boom and is now holding it like uh, Bruce Buffer. Bruce so to Buffer, speak. yeah. So uh, that's kind of cool. Can I get cool. an amen? Man, you're driving. Can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? I was wondering if we were going to get some whoa, vocals. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Developing fucking story. I got some shit to say. Go. Let's go. With just a 40-minute car ride in the rain, Chad Arms is now on the solo project. Okay. Boom, son. Hell, yeah. Boom. Whoopsie-daisy, baby. Let's get it. I got to start writing raps again. Um, like, that's hard. So hot. It, it, it is for me now, bro. You're I'm, fucking full of shit. So <laughs> full of shit. Months, man. I don't give a fuck, dude. I don't care. I bet you I could fucking... Put a gun to your head right now and make you write a verse, and you'd have one written. Well, I'd like to think if my life was on the line, I could I could pen a verse. You got a gun? I do. Let me see that. No, you're all right. <laughs> it's uh, go give me the bleeding. Yeah, I like I said. Anytime you guys look back through this video, uh, I'm just out in space today because I'm at. I, I don't know, He's man. He's hungover. I, I am hungover, but last night's experience was so humbling, yet Memory. so fucking. Yeah. It was so surreal, but yet it was yeah. so. It just meant so much to me, and like everything that I've seen my friends work towards over a yeah. number of years, like so many of them, like even just to see motherfucker like Stoner, like even to bump into him and, and just through the crowd, like it's just wild to me. And then Leroy, Leroy, so in tune with us right now. It's just uh everything's just fucking clicking, bro. I just love the way the world's spinning, and I'm I'm excited for what it holds for. Yeah, and as far as as far as um Chat Arms TV too, like for people because people have been wanting to know what all we got coming along and, and, and you know ahead. There's going to be a lot more interviews coming up. Look at this guy. What are you doing? He's throwing up gang signs. Uh-huh. Oh my god! He's practicing gang signs. So yeah, just disregard. We got that. a meeting later. I gotta go. <laughs> we got <laughs> we, we got to cut that out. No, but they. What? No, but I didn't spell it. But we um, we've got a lot of good stuff coming along the pipeline. We got some potential interviews. I got just shit to say. 
Golly. Stop it. I don't think there was a cut the whole episode. Now there's going to be like four within like six seconds. It's okay. Just bleep them. But, but going back to like what we were talking about, like with the <laughs> the content, I know that people have been asking. Um, multiple people have asked about a Squints interview series. Yeah, man, I'm down. Let's do it. So we'll we'll get that we'll get that working. Um, we're working Can I on help getting you the, interview Squints. Absolutely. Can we cross examine this motherfucker? We're going to cross examine him. I got some shit to ask. But we do that, and then people are wanting to see um, one with Lex. We're working on that as well. And just stay tuned. We've got a lot more, you know, ideas that we're working on, and. Um, Bad Habits Volume 1, if you haven't picked it up already, pre-order it. Um, you won't even have to pre-order because when this drops this week, the album is going to be out Friday. So um, we appreciate all the support. I feel support. like this is going to come out fucking in the next 48 hours. I need. I want it to. I Let's really do it. Do. Like, uh, especially talking about the Jelly Show. Let's try to get it out by Monday morning. Right, and and, and to be honest, guys, like we, there's been talks about some live streaming and to having uh, some, some call-ins from, from – viewers or, or listeners, you know what I'm saying? Because we can do that now and that kind of thing, like Q&As for, for Leroy or uh, Chad or whoever we have on that day or, or just for the show wow. or whatever, man. But the sky's the limit with this shit, man. And last night was just proof of it all. And Eye-opening. Yeah, Sky is exactly the limit to anyone and I'll keep on, just keep, keep on, on keep pressing on. on. Sky is the limit and you know that you can have what you want. Be what you want. Damn. Sky is the Shut limit. The fuck up. I sky's thought that the limit was, the name of the episode. I thought that was beautiful. Because this was a sky's the limit type episode. We, we were I talking really, about sky's yeah. the limit with Jelly, with Leroy. Very, with very, everything. very, very mode on a Motiv- motiv- yeah, so motiv- motivational. motivational. Sub to that Patreon. I'm still waiting on someone to send me that pilot, pilot episode. Uh, so, yeah. I need some money. Uh, Sub here, to the Patreon. We'll get the hard drives right here. The key is right the key. here. We'll I need that. some key. Before you're out of here, I'll get you that. But it's a... Uh, don't get vocal now, guys. We're on the way out the door. Well, the city, you're here, you're here. We can I, get it over. I, I say, yeah, I I say when this is over. Hour. I say when this is over. Shut your fucking mouth. I, I sit the fuck down. I shitted my peril. Hey, we got new merch coming too, man. Leroy got some new shit coming. Uh, Chad's working on some new shit. Trying to get some Chad Arms TV uh, merch in the works, right. baby. The, I got some shit to say. Something's coming. Yeah, I, we work some, Hey, man. Got? Yeah, shout out to the <laughs> Ashtray gang. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude, don't do that, man. What are you, six? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Shout out to the Ashtray game, man. If y'all don't know, we got, we got the Ashtrays. I got, <laughs> I got some shit to say. Fuck ass, man. Oh, my God. That, that was so good. Up so bad. That guy is so good. He said, what are you, six? <laughs> Squints got so mad. And he, he tried to see what's the transition, transition from dad mode to, like, promoter mode, and we just laughed <laughs> through it. <laughs> Keep all this. Yeah, that's but great. Fuck it. We uh we appreciate all the support. Fuck man. yeah, Everybody man. Everybody shows love. We're not ending this. Okay, no, we're, okay. We'll we're keep, keep going. it going. Well, what do you want to get, talk about? You got uh, some shit to say about I got, what? I got some shit to say. We slick. We what? did say this was going to be like a half seat because we've been no, doing a few a half seats. Yeah, now we're at an hour, so we'll keep it moving. I don't care. Got? I'm Go. here, man. I'm in my pajamas. Go. Well, you got some shit to say about, dude? Nothing. He got shit to say about nothing. You fucking did you just pump fake us? Pump fake. I you scrambled. I got over. five yards and went out of bounds. <laughs> hey, check out that. Check out this new. Check out this new one, Leroy. What does a guy have to do to get stoned around here? What do you think about oh, that that's one? That's pretty great. Right, I got some new ones for you guys, man. Play uh, that, Mister Big again. I'm feeling. I feel like cranking uh, that soldier want, boy in Harlem Shake. Wait, yeah. let's see me on him, huh? Yeah. Uh-huh. I like when you do let's it. Let's go. When another blazer in a motherfucking show talking about. He called somebody out. This is great. Everybody loves it, dude. <laughs> dude. I'll, I'll point at Jeez, oh, I tried to like lip sing that so they think it was me a little bit. Oh, Style. I can't hear what that's saying. Huh? Was that oh, Cleveland? I can't hear what that's saying. <laughs> Well, this is my favorite one, and I, didn't, I was gonna wait to debut this. One. This is my favorite. Debut. I looked. I looked. This is a quote from a movie that Play I really it. like. They say money can't buy happiness. Look at the fucking smile on my face. That's a classic line. What's just, that from? Oh, I didn't like uh, that. Uh, <laughs> oh, I didn't ben, like Ben Affleck. Uh, wow. Look at the fucking smile on my face. You sounded better. I should have just recorded that and used that do, as my do What the, about this one? Lex made the B. Oh, shut Lex up, Lex. made the B. Hey, do that, do that family guy thing about the alphabet. Do the family guy alphabet line. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> Do it, dude. I never say it right. The alphabet line. I can say all the no, letters. No, 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 no. What does he say? I can say all 50 states in the quarter of a second. What is it? Yeah! <laughs> the 
That's good, man. That's really good. I'll slow it down for everybody here. That was really good. <laughs> Chad sounds like you a scary me, version of Mickey Mouse. He goes, oh, <laughs> 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 oh my god! Listen to him dance, sounds, puppet dance. He's like, he's like one of them kids, like after midnight, staying him. the night when you're like. Shout out to Kareem like, Abdul-Jabbar, dude. Oh, my boy, yeah. My boy looks like a fucking custom caprice, all purple and yellow. <laughs> god damn. Yes. Oh, custom caprice, Chaddy. Shout out C's to the hat gang, though. His hats are on fire as always. Hell yeah, man. Can Shout we go out. can we go now, Leroy? Yeah, let's go. You All ready, right, Leroy? Yeah, fuck. This will be the last thing you'll ever hear from me. God, wow. you gotta like that. Uh, we appreciate everybody supporting. I don't. Subscribe to the channel. We just hit twenty five thousand subscribers. Oh, yeah. That's amazing. Let's go yeah. for thirty. Fuck all of you. Let's see if we can get thirty K by the end of the you year. You should man. support me anyways. You know what I mean? 30,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I don't think that's too far off. <clears> you guys know. are disciples. We got three months. <laughs> that's right. That's absolutely <laughs> correct. It's I Got Some Shit to Say to Podcast, man. Chat Arms TV. Leroy Until next man. time, bitch. The, the, the bitch. We got views. <laughs>